Hey everyone, uh, we're back with some more Deadbolt. Uh, I'm trying to remember when we last left off. I think when we last left off, we had just killed Puffy and got the Deagle. Um, actually, we didn't get it. Obviously, it's not in, you know, in here, but it was the, there was the Tommy gun. Um, so we're going to talk to the fire and see what we got to do next. Mission, uh, the Zombie Kings have become scared of my hunt. So, as far as I understand it, the Zombie Kings, because everything's called, like, the Zombies Kings, at least it's part of it, is this is the gang. Like, this whole gang with, like, Puffy and stuff. It's, they're the Zombie Kings, and it's a gang who deals the drugs that, I don't know if the drugs are bringing people to life, or if it makes the zombies feel alive. I'm, that part's a little so confusing to me. But I'm not sure if I just missed something, you know, that's totally possible as well. Uh, the Zombie Kings have been become scared of my hunt. They have begun heavily guarding a nearby motel. I will find out what they are hiding. The candles tell me that the Zombie Kings' patrols are nearby. I always be quick in case there are reinforcements. Okay. So this mission seems like it might be a little rushed. And what do we got? Yep. Oh no, okay, so no. Puff was a while ago. We actually we just did the Boogeyman. Oh, right, this one where the candle got like... The candle was dead at the top of the house. Oh, and it had like right had the heads hanging from the ceiling that would like alert them. Um, so we're gonna do no vacancy. Uh, oh, okay. So we got headless. Uh, Roland says Reaper's coming. I'm Reaper. The headless thing gurgles. Okay. There we go. That was more bullets than I wanted to take, but okay. Um, yeah, we'll grab the shotgun. Let's see where these vents lead. Okay, these vents lead to the same place. Okay, there's no real good way for these vents to go for me. I mean, I guess technically it's a little better if I go this way. Because I can shoot him faster, but that does it does eh, still doesn't seem optimal. Um, I mean, how hard are they to kill? They don't have heads, so... Here, yeah, let's just give it a go. This is just a science experiment. I will probably die. Oh, wait, no, they can't see me. Oh, that's so cool. So because this head can't see me, this body won't shoot me at all. That's awesome. I actually really like that. All right, let's go up here where there's this thing. A revolver. Thank you. Alright. Okay, so it looks like the heads are facing the other way. Oh, I died. Okay. So we gotta kill the heads. The heads kills the body. Okay. These are good things to know. There we go. Got a good amount of damage on him that time. Right now that we got the silence gun, we can make quick work of uh, these heads without revealing uh, our position. And they drop a ton of SMG ammo, which is good. Trying to think how we're going to do these two rooms. Because this is when things are going to get hectic. Um, I don't know if I have the bullets to really take care of this guy. Let's see if a uh, full SMG to the face to do it. It can. That went surprisingly well, honestly. I didn't expect that to go nearly as well as it did. Okay. Blew off his head. Whoopsie. Yeah, okay, that's what I wanted. Grab the revolver. Alright, so we got three undeads left. Where are you gonna go? Okay, they're all going up. So yeah, they're all chilling on the top floor. 
I'm waiting for them to maneuver in a position that I could take advantage of. Um, right. Okay, so this guy's coming back down. That's good. Odd choice. Hmm. Let's see. Let's go up here. Wait for him to turn his back for a little while. Come on. Nope. Okay, we killed each other. So, timing-wise, that doesn't work. Excellent. Once again, another... Oh, you can turn that off. Okay, cool. Alright, do that. Bang. Shoot him. Head to the upstairs hallway. Um, oh, right, there's a hammer down there. That's what we should do. We should grab the hammer. Because the hammer can kill the um well no we don't wanna there we go yeah the hammer can kill the the bodyguard guys whatever they're called bouncers uh in like one one big fell swoop Alright, that went pretty well once again. Um, let's get to the revolver real quick. Oh, damn it. Okay. Man, this... I'm liking this game because it's really hard. There we go. Once again, really good ammo counts. Getting better at killing that guy. I wonder if maybe we should just go in here first. Uh, oh, bathroom, right? Oh wait, hold on, no, because we'd want to. Well, right. I think the problem here is that there's heads facing both directions, so I think this head sees us this way. So the head still turns around? Okay. Let me go up. I wonder actually, could I hammer you? Could I just smash you in with a hammer? That's an interesting question. So once again, let's go for the easy kill. Um, hammer it up. Turn you off. Knock. Okay. Oh man, I tried to, I mean I missed and tried to close the door and neither of those things happened. Well no, I tried to kill them and oh, close the door and neither of those happened. So that was unfortunate. It's another shotgun down here, I should remember that actually. Alright, so also can I just hammer you? I can, okay. Because with that I can actually save some tactical SMG ammo. And that might come in handy. Okay, I can't really hammer you. Yep, here we go. Get rid of that guy. Grab 
Grab the shotgun. Oh, that was perfectly timed. All right, this guy up there. There we go, got this from clear. So now we just have three regular Geo Schmoes hanging around. Unfortunately, they're all on the same floor and near all entrance and exits, except for the middle one, which would also be a terrible idea because you do not want to put yourself in the middle ever under like any circumstances. If I timed it right, I could maybe go through the shower, up, shotgun, and back in. Maybe, and then while they're over here investigating, I head up over here and shoot them with my tactical SMG or maybe the revolver. Uh, that might be worth the risk. Or I guess actually they worth a worth a try. See, unfortunately, when you're in this screen like this, if he's in, if he's here where the shower is, you literally can't see them. I mean, he's literally just going back and forth, back and forth, right on top of the shower. He's right there. There we go. There we go. Did I do it? Did my car turn on? Oh crap, reinforcements. Right, they'd mention something about this. Okay. Get out of there. Pick up SMG. Okay. Um, more SMG down here. This bruiser guy is going to be a problem, I already know. Um, I don't have a hammer anymore. Not that I really am in a position to melee him anyway. But still. Hmm. Let's see. What if we go like this? Seeing if he comes up the stairs. It doesn't look like he is. But I'm gonna stay vigilant. Oh, he's stopping there. Okay. He clearly has no interest in that. And then with him being a shotgun guy, I can do that. Uh. Boom, got it. Did we did we win? Find information. Okay. Information, here we go. Pick lock. Oh god. Um Okay. That was actually really cool. I like that a lot. I was worried, like, oh man, I'm gonna have to Skyrim lockpick, but I think it's just kind of a thing where the whole premise is you, uh, you just, like you can't. It, it's supposed to be hard to do if you're like under pressure, you know. I think is kind of the concept there of why I have how that works from like a game design standpoint. All right, what do we got? Alright, uh, we got 60 souls. I wonder if there's a way to get... I know, like, achievements get you more souls, so maybe that's something I should look into, trying to do more of those. So like, we can buy better guns and stuff. Whoops, that was the wrong button. I didn't want to check that one. How do you check achievements? Is it on the chair? No? Whoops, he didn't actually mean to do that. Um, I don't know. There's some way to check achievements. I don't remember what it is. Um, but we'll probably, uh, we'll continue this next time. Uh, we had a decently long video. The, again, these levels are becoming much more difficult, so we're spending whole episodes on them. 
Um, which, honestly, I don't think it's a bad thing. Uh, I mean, obviously, if I could be doing better, that'd be optimal, of course. But, uh, I think it's fine to do, you know, decent episodes. Because, like, at least for me, I love this game. I think visually, it's very nice. Gameplay-wise, it's a ton of fun. It's a real challenge, which I like. Um... And, like, I'm sure, you know, I make plenty of stupid mistakes. So, you know, I, I kind of die, quote-unquote, intentionally to test things out. But, you know, I think, I, I don't, like, you know, I'm there. I'm not flubbing it up. I'm just, I'm doing my best. Um, so, hopefully you're enjoying. Uh, if you do, if you do, please uh, like and share the video. Subscribe to keep up to date with future uploads. And I will see everyone tomorrow.